Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in today. I'm really excited about this video. On a recent trip to Lancaster, we took the time to drive around the Birdhand Family Inn and property and get a whole bunch of footage. So we're gonna take you with us on this drive and show you around. As you can see, it's very, very large and there's a lot of amenities, a lot of things going on here. So I'm really excited to talk to you about it. Um, first of all, it's in the middle of Amish country. So right there is a big bonus. <laughs> it's just beautiful. The surrounding farmland is beautiful. Um, it's a nice small town. You have buggies going by you when you're at the hotel, when you're on the road. A um, little bit of history, there's the front rooms, which are about 30 of them, and they were built in 1968. They have remodeled a lot of them, and they have plans to remodel all of them. That's where we usually stay when we um, stay for our girls' weekend. So the yard here is actually one of my favorite things about the hotel. Um, just sitting out there with your friends or your family and just chatting in the cool evenings or the nice mornings. It's just such a lovely time. Uh, it's just a real big plus to me to have that and plus you get to sit there and watch the buggies roll by and when we go we go during the bird in hand 5k and there's tons of people and there's just so many interactions with others and it's so much fun so yes those hot air balloons were from that weekend so the majority of the rooms in the front building are double rooms so there are two double beds per room um, very clean very cozy they also have some that adjoin some that don't and then on the other end are the more remodeled kind, the queens, the um, queen suite, and the schoolhouse suite. And there is a king as well. What I love about these rooms is the artwork. It's just beautiful paintings and pictures of Amish country. The quilts on the bed, everything is just quintessential Amish country. And it's just so cozy. And they do such a good job of keeping it clean. You don't feel like you're staying in an old hotel. It's very well maintained. It's very, very clean. Um, and then over here is the schoolhouse suite and as you can see it's built like a schoolhouse and uh, it's just it's just so fun like if you would want to kind of go there with your kids and they come right on the chalkboard just a neat little option i thought that was a great addition so here's where you well to your right is where you check in this building here that's the office to check in um you, you can unload there if you want to under the the carport thing there okay so behind the front building is this back pool building um, if there's a walkway, there's a little bridge actually attaches between the pool building and the front building. So it's easy access to get to the front and the back. Um, and there's, I think, okay, there's 85 rooms. Most of them have two queen beds. Some are deluxe rooms, some are king rooms. There's two junior suites and a large family suite. And they also have the bolt, the pool. So you have an indoor pool and an outdoor pool. So that's really nice to have those options when you're staying different times of the year. So we drive back behind to like the, actually it's the entrance to the pool building is kind of behind here. And straight ahead there is the tennis courts and the playground. That's also some more fun things you can do while you stay here. Uh, so it's quite long and then you just kind of park along here. Um, close, there is two stories in the back. But you can unload two different places. Um, and then at the end here is also where you would meet for all the tours they offer. They offer a lot of different tours. They have, a, they have a lot of cool things they do here. You really just need to kind of check out their website and see all the things. They have stuff in the fall, they have stuff in the summer. Um, it's just, they're just such a great inn. They just think of everything. And way over there is the Bird Hand Farmer's Market, that white building with the buses kind of behind it. Uh, that's a huge plus as well. You're right next to a Amish slash local market where you can get super delicious food. So you can walk right over there, which we have done many times. Okay, so we are back here behind the pool building a little bit to the left of it. And here's the petting zoo to the right. Um, I had to get this Turkey Hill truck because I love Turkey Hill ice cream. Had that since I was a little girl. But yes, here's the petting zoo. And then towards the very upper end of the property is this hitching post, which I love, where the horse and buggy can park. Across from that is this nice pond with a walking path around it so there's actually a good amount of walking around this property just staying on the path and i think it's just a nice little addition to have this nice walking area back here i think all this fun stuff they have going on back here is such a great cross between peace and quiet and fun activities so you can choose to take a nice stroll around the pond or you can go play miniature golf or go play tennis so just a great example of the, the economy of their of what they offer here the name of this golf course is Water's Edge Miniature Golf Course, and it's a really great course. It's well maintained and well manicured, just a lot of fun, a great addition to the property. Now we're going to head over to the restaurant side of the property. In case you missed it, there was a horse and buggy that just went right 
by in front of the restaurant, um, just this is what I'm talking about. You will see those all the time when you're here. So yes, this is the restaurant side. It's a great restaurant. Um, I've done a video on this if you want to learn more about it, but it has typically a buffet and menu ordering, though right now with COVID, I believe it's just menu ordering. Um, and then underneath the restaurant is the live stage. The Bird in Hand stage, as it is called, offers a variety of plays throughout the year. Usually there's some Amish-based ones and then some comedy as well as holiday shows. It's a really fun theater underneath the restaurant. We've seen a couple shows and it's always very charming, very cozy, and the, they're very, very talented, the actors. I was impressed with the talent. We are almost done the tour. This is just a shot from behind the restaurant. To the right up there is the front buildings and then to the left is the back pool building. And here we have another hitching post, which I just love. I love the fact you can park right next to it. Um, just a great snapshot of being in Amish country. Um, and we can kind of come out here to the road and I'm gonna show you the front of the property from the road. So we are on 340 headed west, actually towards like Route 30. Um, and this is what you see from the road from 340 in the front of the property. So after you pass the hotel, you're going to come across the Burnham Farmer's Market on your left when you're heading this direction. And across from the street from that is like a really cute coffee shop, ice cream shop, and sandwich shop. I had fun making this video because I really love it here and have a lot of great memories of this place. Um, it's just such a wonderful inn to stay at because of all their amenities, all the things they do to go above and beyond making you comfortable and giving you a great experience in Amish country. I hope you liked it. Um, thanks for watching, and if you haven't, please subscribe. I would really appreciate it, and enjoy your next adventure.